hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session well it's really more of a q and I suppose answering uh, some of the many questions that I've received I have over 2,000 members of the day traders fast track program and 10,000 traders in my trading community and I've seen an incredible increase in uh, emails the last two or three days about my opinion on the current state of the market well in the end traders my opinion means nothing the markets will do what the markets do and if we consider a couple of key facts that since President Trump has been elected it's a little over a year now the markets have risen 37 percent it's also over 500 days since we've seen a major correction in the market so it's about time in many ways that we had a correction so we've seen a lot of these corrections of course every year or so we'll see an incredible move in the markets uh, and this is where really we as traders need to take a step back and consider a couple of major questions so some of the major questions are uh, do we actually trade the markets what do we do uh, do we stand aside do we take a break for a few days uh, do we trade an alternative market and particularly if we look at the equities market some of them for my style of trading have just been totally uh, untradeable that is I don't like incredibly fast moving markets uh, and we'll discuss some of the reasons why and what perhaps some of the alternatives may be so this won't be a long recording but I'll cover a couple of key points some of the old dogs some of the very more experienced traders some of this may be very fundamental for you uh, very old school but for some of the newer traders I'm going to cover some important uh, points understanding the risk if you're new to my channel or a new member of course uh, please remember that there is a risk in trading please pause the video and read the disclaimer uh, if you're new to uh, my channel or just watching this video or one of my videos for the first time please visit my website you can download I have a, a couple of different uh, manuals of up the ebook for truth about day trading and of course my free training manual but even uh, better still uh, join my channel visit my website and join the day traders fast track program visit my site you'll be able to uh, discover a lot more about uh, my trading style what I do and uh, a, a trading program etc but I don't want to turn this into a big ad so let's move promptly on and discuss for the last few days so if we look at the volume for yesterday which was uh, Tuesday the 6th of February it was actually Wednesday <laughs> down under in Australia but if we look at the US market uh, a couple of really important things let's take the ES to begin with it really started last Thursday Friday we saw an incredible increase in volatility increase where normally we sort of see around 1.6 to 2.4 maybe million contracts trade on the ES we actually saw on Tuesday 4.7 million contracts trade by the close of business so there was some incredible volatility and even during the globe session, if I remember uh, correctly that's the overnight session there was over a million contracts traded the NQ which is typically around a couple of hundred thousand maybe 250,000 contracts it was 805,000 so we saw some real increases now a couple of areas it was we saw an increase but was still fairly stable were areas like CL the black gold okay so crude oil uh, which typically it's around say around the six seven hundred thousand mark we saw 773 gold was up by a good hundred thousand contracts so 457 but it was still what I call tradable that is it wasn't flying like the NQ the ES and we're going to be of course discussing a couple of key points on that in a moment but uh, what I want to show you was the volume today so we've now got the uh, the markets about to close so uh, down under here in Australia what where I am it's uh, 7:54 a.m. Uh, so uh, six minutes until the market closes in New York so uh, it is uh, by the way for all my Asian clients it is the 8th of February but it is the 7th for our US members now if we look at the ES for last figures I took a screenshot of it was uh, 2,396,000 contracts 
and on the NQ 576 so we can see here a dramatic drop in the volumes that we saw on Monday and Tuesday so the market is slowing down and that brings up one of the valid one of the, the points that was really brought up uh, earlier was um, do we stand aside do we take a break if you're really hooked on trading the ES the NQ or maybe uh, the YM uh, some of your equities funds yes I think it's a good time to really stand aside because there are some considerations in fast moving markets so let's take a few of them first of all if you trade a tick chart a range a volume or a Renko chart of course where they're based uh, either on volume or, or a range in price they were absolutely flying and for my style of trading where yes I will quite often use a market order but this you know it was just almost gapping it was just flying it was untradeable now if you're trading using a time-based chart whether it be a three minute or a five minute or a 15 minute whatever time frame you may use the problem there of course was the size of the candles you had incredible size candles and then if you're tucking your stopping under a three minute or a five minute candle of course um, you had massive stops so we need to consider some of those key points and which are the key considerations in fast moving markets of a type of orders and the order fills so if you like to normally use a uh, say a limit order well the market was moving that quickly by the time you put your order in it already gone past it and you weren't getting filled and if you were using say market orders the slippage on those was absolutely incredible and so that's something you need to be um, uh, prepared for and of course if you have a slower internet connection you are penalized even further so there's some real considerations there when you're using uh, market or limit orders it just was near impossible now if we then take the size of the stops it's another big consideration is that in fast moving markets if you like to um, say tuck your stop under the closest swing high or swing low uh, your stops were incredibly large which mean which then meant your targets need to be bigger if you wanted to try to stay within a one-to-one -one risk reward it makes it very very difficult in fast moving markets so it really gets down to traders what do we really do when we have these sorts of market conditions well if you like to trade the indice type market say the um, uh, the NQ the ES uh, if we go look at um, uh, what have we got the YM the Dow uh, even the Russell very very difficult when you've got high really incredible volume incredible movement consider taking a couple of days off remember the markets are going to be here next week next month or next year but on the other hand you could consider other markets like if we consider uh, CL crude oil that um, yes we saw quite an increase in volume today but it's um, uh, it's Wednesday in the US and of course we've got the inventory report so that naturally brings a couple of hundred thousand extra contracts into the market but generally if it's take staying away from the red flag news announcement uh, your gold wasn't bad CL was tradable uh, you could then consider your currency futures markets like the uh, the euro the yen the Australian dollar so there are some other markets which you should really consider swapping to it it's really it's only a couple of days usually we see these incredible times of volatility are usually over and wrapped up within two or three days they settle settle down and so one of the things I do have to say if you just have to trade have you got a trading problem are you taking a, a gambler's mentality is that we need to be able to stand aside if the market conditions are not right for our trading or consider another market and CL gold uh, the currency futures have been mighty fine most of the time for trading so we are seeing a slowdown so um, just remember of course volatility can increase uh, but if you're if you're trend trading etc uh, you're not going to have too many issues if we see in, uh, an increase in volatility um, so traders consideration is the type of orders order fills 
there's either way and the size of stops and and oh, the point I wanted to say there of course even if you have got a stop and it is a large stop just remember uh, a lot of traders have been seeing massive slippage on their stops it's almost been gapping through their stops so what may have say been a 10 tick or a 10 point uh, stop uh, they've seen four or five ticks uh, slippage going through their stops in fast moving market so in closing really consider taking a holiday for a couple of days or consider alternative markets so once again traders um, if you're not a member of the day traders fast track program uh, come along and join us $197 you receive all of my setups there's now over 100 hours in the training videos I also include my free indicators and members don't forget to check the folder on my Google Drive for the updated videos Q&A videos etc thank you members and uh, general traders uh, I'll see you on the next video